NASCAR Series. Diecast. Endurance. Car. Series. Twelve teams. Twenty four drivers. Two classes, one champion, it's showtime. Welcome to World Night 4 Diecast Racing. I am your host, Cletus Papadopoulos, and today you're watching round two of the Diecast Endurance Car Series, the prototype heat race. Here we are, Chuck and Scooter. After some ups and downs, this series will continue. Earlier, the GT class competed in their heat races. Now, it's the prototype's turn. I, for one, don't expect anything less than this group. You have some very fast competitors. And remember, the top six will move on to the main event. Guys, it's also important to remember, Team NZ Racing will be driving Porsches instead of the Mazdas. Also, Team Mokong Competition, they dropped the Cadillacs and they switched over to the Panaz. It's going to be interesting to see what these teams can do with the limited track time. It's time to find out who's going to join Elephant Racing and Madness Motorsports in the main event. Without further delay, let's go to the track. For the start of the race on the front row and pole, Jimmy John, followed by Turtle, Melissa Seguin, King Yardy, Simon Harvey, Ocho Moraine, Cesar Jimenez, Tommy McKinnon, Cupcake, and Matthew Hardy. We know Simon Harvey was brilliant in the Michelin 24. Can that carry over for this race? Green flag for lap number one into the chicane. Turtle takes the lead going into the hairpin. Turtle holds the lead, but here comes Melissa Sequin, and she's gonna win lap number one. Brick Mark was also able to sneak past Turtle to take second place. Track marshals are waving the yellow flag. We have an incident going into the chicane involving Cupcake and Simon Harvey. There is also a yellow flag going into turn number three involving Jimmy John of Silverback Racing. We have a red flag in turn number six involving both of the Mocon competition vehicles, Cesar Jimenez, as well as Matthew Harding. This clip shows one of the Silverback Racing Ferraris narrowly avoiding a disaster. As we start lap number two on the front row and pole, be Melissa Sugun, followed by Big Mike Turner, Octavio Moran, Matthew Harding, Tommy McKinnon, Kim Yardy, Masuka, Jimmy John, Cupcake, Simon Harvey, and Cesar Jimenez. Lap number two, Big Mike beats Melissa Siegel going into the chicane and a big crash coming out of the hairpin. Big Mike holds the lead and he's going to hold on for lap number two. Followed by Melissa Siegel and Octavio Moran. We have a very serious matter. Rescue units are responding to pit lane for the crash involving Tommy McKinnon. Cletus, from what I can gather, Tommy McKinnon's vehicle went up and over the guardrail in the chicane and he landed several stories down in pit lane. Track marshals are also waving a red flag in turn number six, which involves one of the Rust Belt diecast racing vehicles, Simon Harvey and Nasuka. Thank you for the update, Chuck. As we go into lap number three on the front row, Big Mike, Melissa Sequin, Octavio Moran, Matthew Harding, Cupcake, King Daddy, Cesar Jimenez, Jimmy John, Nasuka, Simon Harvey, Turtle, and Tommy McKinnon has made his way back to the start gate. Lap number three is underway. Big Mike has the lead going into the game. Whoa, he gets sideways and crashes in the airpin. That opens the door for Melissa Sequin, and she's going to coast home for lap number three. Followed by Matthew Harding, Cupcake, Jimmy John, and the Suka. We have a red flag in the hairpin where Big Mike overturned his vehicle, and that's going to hold up several other vehicles for this lap. Looking at the replay, Big Mike gets his vehicle completely sideways and launches into the middle lane. 
Again, guys, thank you for the update. For lap number four, front row, Valencia Seguin, Matthew Harding, Cupcake, Jimmy John, Tommy McKinnon, Turtle, Masuka, King Yardy, Simon Harvey, Big Mike, Octavio Moran, and Caesar Jimenez. This has been a very aggressive race. Yes, it has. And lap number four is underway. Melissa Sequin takes the lead in the chicane. Going into the hairpin, she has a big slide. Cupcake makes the pass, and he's going to take the win for lap number four, followed by Turner, Nasuka, and Big Mike. Cletus, in a similar crash, which happened earlier with Tommy McKinnon, Cesar Jimenez has been involved in a serious crash in pit lane, and we have rescue units responding. In spite of the guardrails being raised, vehicles are managing to go up and over it. Here, you can see Caesar Jimenez overturned as you make the entrance into pit row. We also have a red flag in turn number one involving two vehicles. Looking at the replay, Caesar Jimenez just manages to get his vehicle airborne, which launches him off the track. For lap number five, both of the Rust Belt vehicles are on the front row with Cupcake on the pole, followed by Turtle. Then you're going to have Nasuka, Big Mike, Melissa Seguin, Matthew Harding, Tommy McKinnon, Jimmy John, Octavio Moran, Simon Harvey, Susan Jimenez, and Big Mike. Cletus, here's where you really expect the drivers to be aggressive. Lap number five is underway. Cupcake takes the lead in the chicane. Coming into the hairpin, he still holds the lead. But here comes Nasuka on the back straight, and he's going to win lap number five, followed by Cupcake. Colonel, Melissa Seguin, Big Mike, and Tommy McKinnon. We have a red flag in the hairpin, and I tell you what, Simon Harvey can't catch a break. This is going to seriously cripple his chances of moving on to the main event. Okay, race fans, here we go for the white flag lap. On the front row, Paul, Nasuka, followed by Cupcake, Turtle, Melissa Seguin, Big Mike, Tommy McKinnon, Cesar Jimenez, Octavio Morang, Jimmy John, King Gardy, Simon Harvey, and Cesar Jimenez. Lap number five is underway, and Cupcake takes the lead in the chicane. Nasuka crashes, coming into the hairpin. Cupcake has a big lead, but here comes Melissa Seguin, and Cupcake holds her off, and he's going to win the heat race for the Diecast Endurance Car Series 12 Hours of Sebring. Cletus, we have a red flag in the hairpin as well as turn number six. And for those vehicles that are involved, this is going to dash their hopes of moving on to the main event. Ladies and, Ladies gentlemen, and gentlemen, 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 please give please a round give of applause, round applause, 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 applause all your competitors all your today. today, 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 today. And now, and now, for, now your for your winners of, winners of, of the Diecast die die Endurance Car Series. Series. In, third in, third place, place, in third place, the Red, the Red Storm, Storm GP, 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 Octavio, Octavio Ray. In second, in second place, place driver for 637 racing, Melissa Segwin. And your winner for round two of the, the Diecast die Endurance Car Series prototype heat race, driving for Russell Diecast Racing. World Race fans, we're just about set to wrap things up. But before we do, here are your top six drivers moving on to the main event for the prototype class. Cupcake, Melissa Seguin, Octavio Morang, Turtle, Cesar Jimenez, and Matthew Harding. World Race fans, enjoy your night, and we'll see you in a few short weeks. War on I-4 Diecast Racing.